This is Goody Reader News with Michael Kozlowski. Cambridge researchers have just discovered the e-paper of the future. It's not using e-ink, it's using graphene. Graphene is one of the strongest materials ever made, more conductive than copper, and has a layer of carbon only one atom thick. So the new prototype features an active matrix electrophoretic display. Similar to the screens used in today's e-readers, except it's made of flexible plastic instead of glass. So what does this really mean? Well, you're going to have the advantages of high resolution. The prototype has 150 PPI. You're also going to have uh, the, the glass is very, very thin and it has lower energy consumption. So you're going to have way longer battery life because there's way less things drawing power. So this is working in conjunction with plastic logic. So Cambridge and plastic logic are co-developing this and it's using plastic logics, organic thin film transistor technology. So this, is a lot of a very technical information, but I think what we're going to see is just ultra thin screens that are flexible and made of plastic instead of glass. So they'll be able to be truly flexible. Uh, the only thing really holding graphene back from reaching commercial prime time is the fact that a lot of the internal components that power e-readers, batteries, CPUs, RAMs, uh, you know, the motherboard itself, those weren't designed to be flexible. And I think that that's the one thing that's holding the wearables industry back, like smartwatches, smart jewelry, and things like that, is that a lot of the internal components aren't flexible. So despite the fact that the screens are flexible and bendable, the components are not. So we're going to have to probably wait a, a number of years, perhaps five years or a decade, before we really see graphene technology take off, not only in the e-reader space, but the wearable space. How do you guys feel about graphene? Drop a comment below for Goody Reader News. My name is Michael. We really want to thank all of our users here at youtube.com slash goodyreader who watch our content each and every day. We really appreciate it. A lot of familiar names pop up every day, especially in the comments section, and that's what we love, building a community to really talk about everything e-reader, tablets, digital publishing related. Uh, we have a lot of cool things going on right now. If you check up top over there, right about there, you're going to see all of the Kobo H2O stuff, and I have it right here as well. This is an exclusive that Goody Reader has. We have an advanced copy, and we have been reviewing this and comparing this against pretty much everything we can think of. If you check right kind of this direction, you're going to see the Sony DPTS1. That is the Sony 13 inch uh, electronic device. Not really an e reader, it reads only PDFs, but if you want to check out all the coverage on that, that is definitely worth checking out. And over there, directly to my side, is the Samsung Galaxy Tab 4 Nook. This is Barnes & Noble's next generation device. They contracted Samsung to build all the hardware, but it is the successor to the Nook HD. Ask me anything, I got a tablet around here, I bet. But anyways, thank you guys very much. We appreciate you guys watching all our stuff. Keep on watching goodyreader.com.